guys, welcome back. I'm Nav, got Anna with me. We're going to take a look at a couple mods. This is uh, Jones Oil Compressor and LPS Small Power Cables and Poles. So, pretty simple. This is the compressor here. It converts fertilizer into... Whoa, that was fast. Wow. I just filled this up not more than like five minutes ago and it's already turned it all into oil. So you put fertilizer in it and you get oil out of it. Yeah, I just looked at it and it still had some fertilizer in it, like, like a second ago. Wow. Okay, that's yeah, that's pretty impressive. I guess if you had dung beetles, it would be a good way to get fertilizer for your plants and plenty of oil for your base, especially if you have issues finding oil. We play on the Valhalla map normally, and oil's kind of an issue somewhat. Not terrible, but an annoyance to get so that'd definitely be a nice addition is considering we normally have more than enough fertilizer laying around so that's pretty cool uh crafting wise at the cost here oh compressor here we go 75 metal 75 stone 50 polymer 50 crystal and 25 gunpowder it's really not that much yeah that doesn't sound bad doesn't seem to require power or anything else you just load it up and it runs by itself so it's pretty cool and that is Jones oil compressor next up is we have the power mod this is the uh, LPS small power cables and poles the poles as far as we can tell don't add anything but look and they said they can act like stilts so more or less a pillar which you can stack and then you got like huge ones I guess that could be pretty cool if you could build on top of them yeah, or I think you could probably run power lines if you got on a Quetzal. Yeah, if you had up there on a Quetzal, you could. It could, it could look pretty cool. The power lines themselves are definitely smaller. So, right here, which is a little hard to see. Um, and I hadn't figured out how to get them to go vertical or anything, or if there's another one maybe I missed that's a vertical. Let's see. So, okay... These may be associated with the heat. Vertical electric cable. Okay. Yeah, because it requires the thin. So that's probably it. Just not 100% positive on that. Let's try making one and see what we get. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's your verticals. I mean, they are definitely a lot smaller. They feel a lot easier to hide compared to the old ones. Um, that's the power outlet right there for it, too. So, definitely a lot smaller. That could be really nice for hiding power lines. Because yeah, it gets um, a little hard to hide them sometimes. I like that. It, I think it would take twice as many, because they're not quite as long. But, yeah, it'd be True. easy. Yeah, because it's not even a full one length. Probably takes two to equal one. Yeah, two or three. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Yeah. That's about it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And thanks for coming by. Have a good day.